What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and today we are messing with the SCX24 Gladiator. Alright you guys, so I have had this thing since it came out. And I gotta say, I haven't done anything with it. Uh, tested it out, crawling and everything, but I haven't done much with it. And it's a shame because I've had it for so long and I haven't done anything with it. But now, I have started doing a couple upgrades with. And the first upgrade you guys can see are the Enjura wheels and tires that I put on here. And I tell you that these wheels look absolutely awesome on, me, on here. I love the way that they turned out. Um, these tires, I tested these tires out when I took that recent, the $80 recent out, and these tires performed very, very well. The Endura tires, I'm telling you, I think these are the S3. I think they're the S3, and the Endura tires actually perform very, very well. They have very good grip on it, and I really like those tires. So, the second thing that I did upgrade wise to this was I did do it I did it off camera but I did upgrade the servo as you guys can see to the Emax servo on here and the reason why I upgraded the servo is because I took the servo out of this and put it on the recent when that one died so that way my daughter can have her car her little Jeep to mess around with and she plays with that thing every day. So I took the uh, servo out of here, put it into that, and I decided to upgrade this servo here. Well, today we are going to be upgrading the motor. So I went with the Endura 66 turn, I believe this is. Um, I went with the Endura 66 turn motor to put in here we are going to be upgrading this dynamite motor that they have. So we're going to be putting this guy on and we're going to see how it performs. So let's go and take this motor out of the trans. All right, you guys. So the first thing I did with this guy is I already went on ahead and took all the screws out from underneath and the one screw that goes <laughs> and the one screw that goes here on the back side to be able to get this guy nice and loose. So, oh, and I also took the two screws out from the sides here for the battery tray to give us some better access. So let's disconnect the motor here and let's take the transmission out. All right, you guys, so as you guys see, we have the transmission taken out of the SCX24, and we're gonna take this motor out. So, a lot of you already know how this is done. If a lot of you don't, I will be going through it on how to take this motor out and install this guy. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you go to take the motor out of this guy, you're gonna to wanna to take this front cover off and that is by removing these two screws that are back here so we'll remove those two and we will take this front cover off all right so after you got the cover off the next thing you got to do is you got to remove this screw right here then you got to remove this other screw right down there to be able to take this back piece off of the transmission because we gotta remove this sub uh, mounting plate and replace it with this mounting plate that came with the motor don't forget you also got to remove the drive shaft so you can separate everything and you're also gonna have to remove this nut here that one right here to be able to get this gear off so you can get access to the other two screws that are right in there. And now the gear 
can come right off. Set that to the side. And now you have access to all the screws under here. And your mounting plate with the motor. Your mounting plate with the motor is completely off. We are gonna have to take these screws off of this motor to be able to use it onto this motor. All right, so now you're gonna to wanna to grab the new motor mount and you're gonna to wanna to place it on the casing. Grab your screws and start putting everything back together again. Now that you got all the screws put back together again, make sure they're nice and snug on there that they're not gonna wanna walk them off, walk them back out. Now you're gonna to wanna to grab your motor, your gear that comes with the motor, put them together like so, but you're gonna to want to bring the gear closer to the motor, not too close to where it's gonna start binding up, but bring it in a lot closer. And there we have it. All right, so before you screw it in, make sure they have a good mesh. And this mesh on here is very nice. So you can go on ahead and Start putting your screws back on. The two screws are on holding the motor. Put this guy, the gear back on. And now the nut that holds the gear. Now once you got everything put all back together again, the new motor is in with the gear and your spur gear is back on. You can go ahead and put your drive shafts all back in place. All right, and there we have it. Now let's fit this guy into the Gladiator. Let's put this transmission back in here and we'll see if we have to cut anything off of the battery tray. Now that we have that set, let's see if we have to trim anything on this battery cover for the motor. So we're gonna have to trim this corner off right here because the positive terminal right there, positive terminal right here on the motor is hitting the bottom of the tray. There it is, guys. There is what it looks like. So now, is this going to affect the battery? So it does look like the battery does touch that terminal there, the positive terminal. But what I can always do on the battery tray, in between the battery tray and the battery is put something under here just to elevate the battery a little bit higher so that way the battery is not touching that terminal right there. All right you guys, so everything went in nice and smooth, no issues. Let me finish tidying this thing up. We're gonna take it outside on the mini crawler course and see how this guy performs. Let's go.
All right, you guys, and there we have it, the SCX24 Gladiator, and I have got to say that this thing performed very, very well out on the mini crawl course. There's more things that I want to do to that course, so there's more obstacles I'm looking at putting in there, but I'm slowly getting there. But with the combination of the Emacs Servo, the 66 turn Enjora motor, Enjora brass wheels, and Enjora tires on here. I believe these are the S3 compound that are on here. This thing performed very, very well. The other thing that I believe I showed you guys already was these links tremendously, tremendously improved the steering on this. The stock links that came with this thing are horrible. Of that, all that slop that's there, you actually do lose steering angle on with those links, which I noticed, definitely noticed on that. So this guy did very, very well. I think in the next video, what is gonna be happening, probably most likely taking this out onto that boulder, which I haven't forgotten, because that is the main biggest thing, obstacle that I have for these little guys. And maybe 110 scales too. But for these little guys, the, that is the main obstacle that I want to try to get up. I still want to get an angle meter to see what angle, how much of a pitch, how, right there, like that. <laughs> so how much of a pitch that boulder is that these things are climbing up. Um, I do have a couple more things that are going to be coming in for this guy because I basically got this when the Gladiator first came out and now they have the Bronco. And I basically kept the Gladiator tucked away in here. That's where I have majority of my RCs. Um, but they're up there. So this is where I basically had him stashed away. And I just figured it's time to do something. I should have done something with this long ago, but I didn't know exactly what path I wanted to go with this thing. Didn't know if I wanted to make a full out crawler, trail truck, crawler, trail truck. I still don't know, I'll be honest with you. Still don't know. But I do want it to make, I do want it to go over obstacles and make Good videos for you guys with this thing. So I do have a couple things coming for it. That'll be in another video. The, um, but more than likely the next video for this is going to be that boulder. I will probably take the TRX4M and the FCX24 K5 Blazer with me and see if they can also tackle that boulder. That, that might be something I'm going to wind up doing. So we'll see, we'll see. So guys, thank you for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. You guys keep safe, keep our seeing, and you all have a good one.